Today I'm making peanut butter chicken in the slow cooker. I'm Tess and I'm going to show you how to make this easy and very simple peanut butter chicken dinner that everyone will love, especially the kids. This peanut butter chicken dinner is a simple and delicious slow cooker meal. Let's get started. And by the way, you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. Please check it out. I'm starting with some coconut milk, and this is the type that I am using. Depending on the brand of coconut milk, it may be less creamy and more watery, but don't worry, you want the flavor. In goes the star of the show, and that is some creamy peanut butter. You can use your favorite brand. Adding some brown sugar, and I usually use honey, but I didn't have any today. Adding in some minced garlic, some minced ginger, soy sauce, and a little rice wine vinegar, giving that all a good mix. Tonight I'm using boneless chicken thighs, and you can use chicken breasts. I cut the chicken into approximately one inch bite sized pieces, and yes, you can leave the chicken whole if you wish. Giving everything a good toss, placing on the lid, and cooking on high for approximately three to four hours. Typically, you would cook on high for four hours or on low for seven to eight hours, but I find the chicken will start to fall apart. If you have a timer setting on your crock pot, you can cook for three hours on high and give it a check. Again, it will depend on the amount of chicken you use, but it should be enough time to cook the chicken all the way through. It's been just a little over three hours, and this is what the peanut butter chicken looks like. It smells wonderful. I'm going to thicken the sauce with a little slurry of cornstarch and water, pouring in the slurry and giving it a mix, placing the lid back on, and cooking for another 15 minutes on high. I'm serving the peanut butter chicken with a myriad of steamed vegetables and jasmine rice. The peanut butter chicken is creamy and rich, and the fresh vegetables are a nice balance. The rice just absorbs all that extra delicious sauce. You can serve this peanut butter chicken with noodles or pasta, topping with some chopped green onions, and you could also top with some chopped peanuts or some cilantro. I hope you give this slow cooker peanut butter chicken a try and enjoy. If you like this peanut butter chicken slow cooker recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!